Hello, this is Dan DeLuca coming to you from Eugene, Oregon. I teach and coach on mindset and marketing in the online and offline space. So today, I'm going to tell you how you can destroy negative self-doubt. Okay, I can t I'm going to tell you how to destroy negative self-talk. Now, the one warning right up front is this is something that you... When you destroy it, it comes back. So you have to keep after it over and over and over again. Because basically what we're talking about is habits. So we all have habits. We all do things habitually. We do things without even thinking about it. And some of the some something that we do that we don't think about is the way we speak and especially the way we speak about ourselves. So let me know if... Um, you've ever heard any of the following phrases come out of your mouth or um, just tell yourself uh, by the little voice inside your head. And if you're not sure about that voice inside your head, just, yeah, that voice, the one that said what voice, that's the one right there. So have you ever said to yourself uh, something like, I'm a slow learner or I'm not good with technology or I'm just too fat, or I just can't do this, or I'm just too old to learn new things? Have you said anything like that to yourself, or uh, and like referencing yourself saying that to another person? Those are the kind of negative self-talk that destroys our confidence. It runs ourselves, we're running ourselves down, and we're actually creating that for ourselves every time we say it, and every time we think it. Just think, and, and so I just, I want to go back to habits. Habits is, is, are things that we do, things that we say, things that we think without even thinking about it, right? Have you ever been like driving down the, driving home uh, from, uh, from someplace and you realize on the way home that, uh, you know, you have to make a stop at the grocery store and you're driving and you're driving and you, you have that thought, and this has happened to me, and uh, you completely, you, you turn into the driveway of your house or your apartment building or whatever, and you pull up and you stop and say, wait a minute, I was going to go to the grocery store and I completely, just by habit, drove home. I wasn't thinking about it. So that's what I'm talking about here with our speaking. We say things like, I'm just, I'm a slow learner. And I, I just heard, I, I hear this all the time from prospects. I'm too old to learn this computer stuff from prospects. It's like, actually, I don't, I don't believe that stuff and I'm not listening for that stuff. However, that's what we tell ourselves. So the result of all this is that it lowers our confidence and it keeps us down. And, <coughs> excuse me, the result of that is that when, uh, when we're talking to a prospect, Okay, prospects are looking for somebody that knows where they're going, they know what they're doing, and they have no doubt whatsoever in their abilities because the prospect is basically looking for you as a model. So if you don't have that confidence, if you don't have self-confidence, if, if you don't have a direction that you're going in because you have your own negative self-talk, they're going to catch up on that. They're going to they're going to they're going to get that. It's going to come across, believe it or not. And they're just not going to want to work with you because they're going to say, I don't know, there was something about that person. So we want to start to interrupt those habits of speaking and thinking and self-talk. So here's how we completely destroy that negative self-talk, how we completely destroy our own self-doubt that we are generating ourselves. So the first thing to do is you have to become aware. You have to become aware of what you're saying and what you're thinking. And the, uh, the most, it's, a, it's the most important thing. So you have to monitor yourself. You actually have to pay attention to what you're thinking and what you're saying. And maybe even stop and think before you speak so that when you do speak, it's powerful and it's empowering and it really supports you in what you're doing. And one way to do this, there's a lot of ways to do it, is actually just write everything down that you say, like keep a, a, a notebook or a pad of paper 
and something to write with and write down what you say, especially your own self-talk, and then read it and look at it and ask yourself, would I say that to anybody else, you know, even if I, if I believed it, would I say that to them? And, um, and, and make sure it's unfiltered. And this way you can continuously become aware of what you're saying to yourself so that you can then begin to challenge what you're saying, challenge every doubt that you have. And you want to ask yourself, who said that? Is that really true? Like, I'm too old to learn. Well, what's that all about? I mean, you're, as far as I'm concerned, nobody's ever too old to learn something. Yes, it might take some effort. Yes, it might take some time. Yes, you might be uncomfortable. However, we can always be learning new things. Or um, let's see, I just, I'm not good with technology. Well, anytime you're starting something new, you're not good at it. I mean, you're, it's just a given. You're, you're just not going to be good at it. So instead of saying, I'm not good with technology, you could say something like, I'm learning something new about technology every single day. And, and that's still correct and accurate. And it's much more powerful than I'm not good with technology or I'm overwhelmed. You know, that's another good one. Well, of course, we're overwhelmed. We're overwhelmed because we want everything to happen right now. So uh, I got a little off the t topic. I just wanted to say, so in order to destroy self-doubt, here you go. Begin to become aware of what you're saying and what you're thinking, especially about yourself. And as you become aware then and catch yourself, you have to catch yourself in the instant and stop and you have to interrupt that thought. Instead of just letting it go, I'm not good with technology. I'm not good with it. Wait a minute. Now look at all the stuff that I've learned. You have to reframe it. I actually know how to use a computer. I know how to use a smartphone. Okay, I don't know how to build a website yet, but I know how to do this, that, and the other. And really interrupt it and then, ch and then challenge it. And take a hard look at what you just said and reframe it and recast it as something powerful. Continue to do that and you will lower your self-doubt, raise your confidence, and speak powerfully about yourself and speak powerfully about others. And that is a habit worth having. So start today. And if you want more tips, tricks, techniques, all that good stuff, subscribe to my newsletter at dandeluca.com slash newsletter. That's D-A-N-D-E-L-U-C-A dot com slash newsletter, and you'll get more of this stuff in your inbox. I look forward to seeing you at the top.